The Mercedes-Benz S-Class W140 was an engineering and technological tour de force when it was launched in the Geneva Motor Show in March 1991. At H&L Classics, we have restored several W140s and they are by no means an easy car to restore. The W140 came packed with innovative features that were groundbreaking at the time in an effort to create the best car in the world. In this video, we're going to show you the top 30 comfort and safety features in the W140 S-Class that you might not find even in modern cars today. So let's get started. All W140s were fitted with double glazed side windows as standard. Two panes of safety glass are separated by a hermetically sealed 3mm air gap and the air between the panes is dehumidified. The W140 is also came standard with one touch auto up down for all power side windows. Just a press of a button up and down and the windows would automatically go up or down. All windows are obstruction sensing. If there's an obstruction in place, the windows would automatically stop and retract by a bit when it detects an obstruction. The W140 was equipped with an infrared remote locking system and this allowed you to raise the windows from the outside when locking the car. All you had to do was to point the key fob at the infrared sensor, press and hold, and the windows would raise up automatically. Some models of the W140, such as the 6-litre V12, came with the electro-pneumatic door closing aid as standard. This is an incredibly useful feature for helping you close the thick and heavy doors. A sensor in the lock would register when a door has been almost closed, and the electro-pneumatic closing aid would then pull the door quietly and securely shut. This exact same system also operates on the trunk as well. An interesting feature that you'd find on all W140s is the pop-out trunk handle. The rationale for this is so that you don't have to get your hands dirty every time you open and close the trunk, as the trunk handle is always kept tucked away from dirt and debris until needed. The W140 had the option of a 12-way power front seats with memory. The power seat switches are located on the doors and are arranged in a shape just like a seat and this tradition continues in modern Mercedes cars till today. The power seat switch would allow you to adjust the seats fore and aft, height and tilt, backrest recline, headrest height and it even has the ability to adjust the front seat thigh support front and back. This W140 also came with adjustable lumbar support and adjusting the dial would allow you to inflate the air bladder located in the lower part of the backrest to achieve better lumbar support. The W140s came with geometric front seat belt adjustment. Depending on the position of the front seats, the seat belt height will adjust automatically. If the W140 was specified with the memory seat option, it would also come with an electrically adjustable tilt and telescopic steering wheel. The position of the steering wheel was also saved together with the seat memory. The W140s also came with parameter power assisted steering. In other words, the steering wheel was speed sensitive, allowing the driver to use less effort when steering at low speeds when parking. Cruise control was also available as an option. In order to achieve sufficient coverage for the enormous windshield, the W140 was fitted with large windscreen wipers with the main wiper arm having an eccentric mechanism. The side mirrors are electrically adjustable and retractable as well to help you get through the really tight spaces. The rear view mirrors have an automatic anti-glare feature and early model W140s were over-engineered to the extent that they were also electrically adjustable. The W140s also had automatic climate control as an option and this W140 was specified with rear seat air conditioning, making this car effectively having a four-zone climate control system. To supplement the automatic climate control system, this S-Class was fitted with an optionally available activated charcoal filter. This helps to remove dust, odours and pollutants from incoming air. The rear demisters on the W140 are finely integrated into the rear windscreen, which improves rearward visibility. The radio antenna was also integrated into the rear windshield. Moving on to the business end of the W140, which is no doubt in the rear, this S-Class was specified with reclining rear bench seats. Individually reclining rear seats were available as an option. 
The rear seat switches, located on the doors as well, will allow you to control the electrically adjustable rear headrests. Both rear passengers would have access to vanity mirrors, as well as individual rear reading lights. This W140 also came with electric rear roller blinds. All W140s had rear footwell blowers, which were manually adjustable by the rear passengers. A rare option that this W140 has would be the vented rear footrests. This car also came with individual rear ashtrays and cigarette lighters. This W140 came with an infrared remote central locking system. As a result, locking and unlocking your car feels very much like switching on and off your TV. We have saved the very best feature of the W140 for last. Presenting the best cup holder in the world. So that wraps up our list of the top 30 comfort and safety features in the W140 S-Class. For us, these interesting features essentially defines the W140. At that time in the 90s, no other car came close to the W140 in terms of comfort and innovation. Back then, BMW was still selling the E32 7 Series and had yet to launch the E38 which would give Mercedes-Benz a run for its money. Rolls-Royce and Bentley were still very much cars designed in the 70s for the 80s. And if you wanted the best car in the world in the 90s, you really had no other alternative other than the W140. We hope you found this video entertaining and informative. If you are planning to restore W140, hopefully this video would give you some idea of all the things that could potentially go wrong in a W140. Which is why at the start of the video we said that the W140s are by no means an easy car to restore. But if everything is working as it should, the W140 is a formidable car, even by today's standards. If you'd like us to do a completely biased review of the W140, please let us know in the comments below and we might do one video in the near future. As always, thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next video.